Let me show you the difference between hydraulic actuators, pneumatic actuators and electromechanical actuators with respect to precisional control using Lego. So here's a Lego a simple actuator. You turn this and the shaft will go in and out when you restrain it. And that's just because it's just a simple lead screw inside here and this just goes in and out by turning this clockwise. So we're just converting rotary motion into linear motion. Very, very simple. And we have very fine control over it. Now, let's show you using a DJI exactly how much control we have using um, this Lego actuator here. As you can see, very finely controlled. From here to here is half a millimeter. I can control it within microns if we want to, just by turning this. This slides in and out. We have extremely precision control, which is what you would expect. Now, let's look what we get if we use a hydraulic or pneumatic actuator, again, using Lego. So this is a simple Lego hydraulic actuator. And all it is, it's just a, air goes in one side and out the other and this slides in and out depending on where we pump it in. If we pump air in here, this will slide backwards. If we pump in here, this will slide outwards. And then we can use a simple pump like this. So I'll show you this working. We have a, a valve that, that distributes air either this way or this way. And if this was hydraulic, it would be exactly the same. So when I pump it, you can see this slides out to go backwards. It just goes back in, as you can see. Now, let's see how precise we can actually control this using this dial test indicator. So we'll turn the valve to extend it. And let's see what happens. And you can see there's a huge delay and that's because air is compressible. So we cannot finally control this thing at all. If this was hydraulic fluid inside here, it would be better because hydraulic fluid is not compressible, but because this is air, very little control com at all. So if we want to move it just a small amount, it's just such a huge delay in anything that happens. <laughs> I'm back again. So as you can see, mechanical actuators like this will give you such fine control um, they're much better for applications where you need to finally control something to great accuracy